and welcome to another teaching from TorahFamily.org. We are a family-based ministry that believes the whole Bible stands forever, that all of it is based in the Torah, and all of it promotes the Torah. Please visit us at TorahFamily.org for more teachings like this one. We hope this teaching helps you learn and grow in the faith. This chapter is dedicated to all the dads that have girls. Now, they may have boys as well. However, in this chapter, we want to focus on the needs and desires that girls have regarding their dads. You might feel like you're not the best dad. <laughs> Who is? This is not about raising the bar so high that no one can reach it. It's about letting us know where the bar already is and what we can do to start working our way one day at a time to reaching it. Looking back at our failures is a tactic of the enemy. Why? Because looking forward in hope and desires to rise above ourselves is what the enemy doesn't want. But let's not make this about ourselves. Let's remember we have daughters that need us. If there is anything that I believe needs to be said from the start, it's this. Every girl should want a husband like their dad. <laughs> I can't underscore that enough. We as dads need to place a desire in our girls that they will settle for nothing less than a husband like dear old dad. There is little to no instructions given to us in the scriptures concerning how a dad should raise a daughter. We obviously have the scriptures that tell us to teach our children in the ways of Yahweh, that being Deuteronomy chapter 6. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Yet, in all of this, there really is nothing specifically given to us dads in how to train our little girls. Even if your girls are older now, you know as well as I do that they are still your little girls. However, in all of this, we do have a verse that can apply for us in this context. Well, in a certain kind of way. It's found in Proverbs 22. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. As dads of girls, we really need to train them in the ways that will honor Yahweh, in the ways that will show them how to be a respectable young woman, a woman that longs for the ways of Yahweh. This all starts with how we treat their mom. They should watch us in how we cherish their mom, in how we react to their mom, in how we treat their mom in all circumstances of life. You are to be their model for the perfect husband. Does that put a sense of pressure on your shoulders? <laughs> it should. We've all seen how Hollywood portrays the, quote, perfect husband. You know, perfect hair, perfect teeth, perfect job, perfect car, and so on and so on. And we've seen how they often mock the true perfect husband who pursues after Yahweh, or at the very least, just mocks the role of fathers by presenting them as childish or immature. Shielding our daughters from that kind of influence in the world is not a bad idea. However, that's not enough though we need to let them see firsthand how a man of Yahweh lives as a husband. Let your girls dream of raising children with a husband that treats their little ones the way you treat them. Let them imagine that perfect guy to be just like you. It's in this that we can truly help them out. We don't really advocate dating, especially at young ages. By saying young, I mean in the teen years. 
We hope to do a separate teaching on that and the alternatives that many consider today. That being said, I do take my daughters out on dates. I want them to know how a man should treat them one day. They look forward to our dates and we have fun. I'll take them out to eat and then go do something fun afterwards if we can. The goal is to let them see you value them for who they are. Let them know what is to be valued in a young woman. Whatever they see you valuing in women, especially in their mother, that's what they will desire in themselves. Whatever is stressed as important, they'll take note of it. They need to know that you not only accept them as they are, but that you love them as they are. That you long to be with them and are excited to see them when you get home. How easy it is for us to lose that excitement for seeing them in the daily routines of life. And there lies our challenge, to make them feel special when we are pulled in every other direction. Yet, in showing them that you love them and are excited to see them when you get home, let them see you get excited to see their mom as well. These are memories that they will remember. These will be small things that has potential for lasting impact that drives them to wanting a husband like you. Even if you are in a divorce situation, the same principle applies. How? By showing their mom respect. Even if you don't believe your ex-wife deserves it, don't disrespect their mom. You can disagree, but make sure that you show respect in that disagreement. If they see you disrespect their mom behind their mom's back, then they will be left to conclude that you will do the same to them one day. Now, I understand that can truly be difficult at times. Yet, for the sake of your daughters, keep respect a primary focus. You want to give them every reason to look for a husband like you. A lot of times, many believe that modesty is taught by the mothers. And it's true that moms do indeed play a major role in this area. However, dads play a much larger role than they can imagine. Everyone will have their own ways that they can approach this topic. However, a simple way that we address this is by me telling my wife that something is inappropriate the girls are wearing or how they are wearing it. Then, she simply goes and discusses it with the girls herself, but lets the girls know it came from me. This takes the embarrassment away from Dad talking to them about something embarrassing, yet shows what should be the standard in how they dress. Will it be accepted every time? <laughs> Not likely. However, there are some things that must be the baseline, and modesty is a must. Setting the borders or limits on what is accepted in any area should not be presented in the negative, meaning they can't do this or they can't do that. These should be presented in a way as to why they shouldn't and the dangers that can come if not followed. Showing them it's for their protection and that you care enough to protect them. Removing outside influence in this area will always make it easier. Yet, we all know that outside influence is not always in our control. It's in this that leads us to our last point. If there is anything that I believe we as fathers need to do more and more, it's pray for our children. I'm not talking just a little here or there. I mean serious prayer, especially if your children are in public school. Our children are being attacked every day. The pressures and temptations that children face today are far beyond what we experienced as youth. They need our support like never before. But don't just pray for them. Let them know you are praying for them. There are many avenues that raising children can take you down, and 
we hope to cover them more in future teachings. Yet, in all of this, the most important thing is to let our little girls know what they mean to us. And that is not only done in word, but also in deed. Make sure to be there for your girls. Let them know they mean more to you than some appointment on your schedule. Let them see what a man of Yahweh truly desires and needs in a woman. Then you can encourage them to grow in Yahweh in those areas of their lives. And remember, make it your goal to put the desire in your girls to want a husband just like you. We hope you've enjoyed this teaching. Now, it's up to you to be a Berean and study it for yourself. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, Shalom.